viewers and friends around the world. I am Anir Dwinka, participating in the iCode Challenge from Singapore. First of all, i like to thank the panel of judges and supporters for selecting me as a candidate for the iCode Best Presentation Awards. I am proud to represent Tamasek Primary School, where I am a student of Primary 5. I've been doing robotics for the last three years. I was introduced to robotics in my school and took it up as my co-curricular activity. Since then, I've been hooked to it. It has been an enjoyable and great learning experience. Let me show you my school's robotics lab. This is where we are free to think out of the box and indulge in coding to solve standard problem statements. While doing that, we face various challenges. We are encouraged by our teachers to keep trying as a team by evaluating various theories, algorithms, and architecture to achieve the optimal result. Good afternoon, Mr. Hey, good afternoon, Aniru. What do you think about this program? Oh, this is very impressive. Well done, Aniru. Thank you. Hmm? It was in 2018 when I first participated in an RCAP challenge with my school team. It was a great learning experience for me and my team as we realized the level of difficulty in coding and how well the other teams performed. That inspired us to do better and we return next year again to win the third place in our course space first step under 12 category. Let me show you the trophy. Through continuous experiment, I try to identify problems in my program and work on them patiently to make my algorithm more effective. We have seen that the competition map was changing all the time and we have to adjust to the new map quickly. Two important life lessons that, that I have learned are being patient and continue trying and adapt to changes. This ICO challenge provided me the opportunity and platform to showcase my logical thinking and programming capability by competing with the best participants around the world. Being recognized as various award categories has made me confident and inspired me to keep the momentum by continuing to learn. My favorite participant from all course space under 12 challenge is CN6005. He utilizes his sensors very well and his robot moves very smoothly without any interruption. At a young age, he is successful and won first place when he was 6 years old. This inspired me that I can also reach great heights. I am planning to organize a hackathon event in my school with the help of my teachers to encourage students to come up with innovative ideas for robotics and AI to solve common problems. I am open to collaborate with other participants to share ideas on improving the program. Feel free to reach out to me at the email provided. This year, I am participating in the Aiku Co-Space Rescue Under 12 Challenge. Let me share my strategy for this challenge in detail. Hope this video will be useful for others starting their co-space journey. First, I created a flowchart to logically sequence my robot activities like scan sensor values and duration, 
move it forward and around, avoid obstacles, collect objects, avoid traps, and use left and right color sensor to detect orange and turn to the bullet area. Here is a snippet from my program. My robot has faced two problems in my final program. The first problem is passing through the small space between the wall and the obstacle. Let me show you a video of this. As you can see, my robot is struggling over here to go past this obstacle. Now, the solution for this problem is I move my robot very slow to pass through the space by changing the speed using the position X and position Y and the ultrasonic sensors. Here is my advanced uh, action. Now, let me show you the video. As you can see, my robot is moving very slowly through this part and it going back. My second problem was collecting the super object when it is formed in position X0 and position Y0 next to obstacles, like you can see in figure 2. In this case, I avoid collecting any objects and directly pass through the trap to collect the super object first. Here is a video. I use the various markers provided in the map to direct the robot to the deposit area when it's full. Over here, you can see that I have used various type of markers in my program. Here is a video for you from the actual competition. So I sense this marker and then turn towards the deposit box. Next, I followed the wall to collect the super object first. I used a variable when a super object was created and then I followed the wall to collect the super object by using my algorithm as shown below. Now here is a video. As you can see, I was following the wall and then I collected the super object over here. Once again, I take this opportunity to thank the CoSpace organizers for providing us this platform to learn from friends located worldwide from the comfort of our homes. Finally, special thanks to my school principal, my robotics teacher, Mr. Lim, and my parents who have been encouraging me to continue learning. Bill Gates once said, Robotics and other combinations will make the world pretty fantastic compared with today. Thank you all for watching my presentation.